all right what's up guys it's saber here this is our basic jinx guide pretty easy to kind of get for random kills i think is why she's pretty good right now before we start the video i want to thank game leap for providing all the editing for us today so everything uh you see on screen is edited by game leap and uh yeah they're gonna make the video super smooth as per usual this is their site check out all the different courses they have they got literally every lane so uh, you might pick up on a bunch of things that we don't cover because we're adc right so yeah if you want to get better at the game or if you're just uh, curious definitely check out game Leap. they got a youtube channel too so yeah put a link in the description and without further ado enjoy the video game is not bad i'll teach you how to play her up to masters and if you can't play her to masters you're probably playing her wrong just make sure you're not just in things super hard because you know you die on jinx you're gonna have a problem can't get away from people hey sounds good most important stuff to know is how to use her abilities and also mechanical ideas okay so this is actually this champ is actually mechanically difficult in skill shots and also in movement okay so first we're gonna cover his movement why is movement so important when you get excited after getting a killer assist it's really hard to control this character what you see what people do is they're like right clicking right clicking right clicking you they click like this and they're they just fucking sprint right into the enemy team actual facts actual facts like you how do i know this i've done this 10 times or not 10 times i've done this hundreds of times okay so actual facts how do we avoid this attack move okay what we can do is just attack move close to you near them whatever we definitely don't want to right click and get fucked right there's something you can do you can use rockets right i don't care we need to master your movement on jinx with a lot of attack speed right so attack move don't right click like on accident like this right and uh the other thing to remember is click close to your character like this you see how i'm making jinx go crazy here so that way you're able to dodge abilities versus if your mouse is all the way over here oh shit i'm trying to dodge it's too late to get hit right click close to you attack move hit the closest character that's the mechanic part in a nutshell okay uh, we'll talk about w and ulti later the other uh stuff i want to go over is making sure you use traps correctly Two best uses of traps is combo on stun, right? Or on top of yourself to kite, right? So they can't run past you, right? If you if you trap yourself and run over it, the bruiser has to go all the way around. The assassin can't dash through; they have to flash, right? You're making them you could making them use resources or make it that they, they make sure they can't actually just go on you, right? And it actually stops people midair. So down and trying to argue, boom, trap, run over it, can't get me now. See a alert, see a nerd, right? She has to flash or something, and then you can just you know counter with your own your own flash, right? And then um, the other usage of trap is making sure they don't get away. But that's like if you're hard winning, like he's face checking. Usually we save it for ourselves or combo, okay? Um, the other one is ulti. Good thing to know is ulti damage is maxed out at zap max range. Someone confirmed this for me, but I heard this and I think it's pretty true, right? The, the maximum damage comes out at your zap range, yeah? I would actually recommend not smart case doing anything on this champion. So you don't mess up your traps or your zap, right? Like that, okay? Um, so the format of the video is we're gonna go over laning, then we're gonna go over PvP stuff, right? So let's take a look. Laning, okay. One important thing to know about laning is that usually you don't wanna fight. Your champion can kind of like, it's basically like follow up only, all right? So when we take a look at our examples here, it's not gonna look pretty, right? So I'm gonna show you a few bad examples where you see most Jinx players do, or not most Jinx players, that's like unfair, but one of some of the more common uh jinx mistakes right one of the <laughs> for example not knowing how you follow up you see the incorrect order there you saw, i was supposed to flash traps right you want to kind of prepare your follow-up since that's the majority of what your champion can do is how can i play off my support right so like it's like chess you want to pre-plan moves on morgana binding i want to trap auto attack cancel zap that's what i want to uh, that's what i want to see from you guys right here's some other examples of things going wrong because we're trying to find lane your champion cannot function by itself unless you have like omega items and lethal tempo running and you don't need abilities but jinx is very ability based in that you can't do anything without your abilities look at this she's like she, zyre press w we're doomed right how do you land trap or zap in this case do i even like w flash it's impossible dude actually impossible right don't try it and like stuff shit here's like some more examples and i'll show you an example of where we're doing follow-up and or cleanup and we do extremely well right this champion kind of you're 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 trying to like kite away kite, kite people off and then kill everyone with resets off your uh passive okay so take a look at this one this is another uh yikes dog like <laughs> so you're like you, you just can't fight okay 
the fighting has to be extremely prepared, right? You want to kill that Janna? Traps to where the Flay is going, auto attack cancels zap, all right? And uh, if Kaisa is running straight at us, we're going to die. So very important to make sure that if we're trying to follow up, specific way we follow up, if we have no idea what we're doing, we probably don't want to fight, all right? Or don't all in. And then one more bad example, and then uh, we'll go to the good examples, all right? So I just really want to hold in the point. Actually, we saw this one. I really want to hold in the point. This is the last example we're going to go over. I have an infinity edge. I'm 4 0 2. I have 99 CS, right? We have complete control over the lane. I try and start something because I have red buff, right? Pike hook is like super troll. So what do I do? We just start trying to fight, you know, Kaylin. And uh, lo and behold, we got this. We got dumpster, dude, right? I actually destroyed. You really can't start stuff by yourself. You know, I know we don't have our Nami with us, but even if we did have Nami with us, it's not winning, right? She's just gonna kite us and walk away and you can't you can't chase her. So you really don't want to start shit by yourself. Let me show you what you actually want to do. You want to follow up off your team and or clever trap usage and or man advantage. You want something crazy. Look at this. This is a, this is a good combo, right? We're making sure we are absolutely using our traps when she gets rooted. The instant she gets rooted into zap. We could have auto canceled zap, by the way. Um, something you should probably do. And then uh, here's another good example where we're countering slash following up, right? You want them to be the the uh, the team that's trolling. You don't want to be the troll. You want them to be the troll, okay? So take a look at this, all right? We know that uh, we have some kind of 3v3 play going on, right? So we're just trying to bait out Pike's abilities, namely his uh, his hook, right? Yeah, take a, take a look at this. We play completely different here, right? We're the ones kiting, right? We're the ones trying to... Uh, you know, kite it out, and then, you know, run forward with the resets. I take it like this, and then, oh, oh, see ya. Oh, kill everyone, right? So other mechanics you need to know that you can take away from this clip is switch to minigun when you can, right? Anytime we can minigun, we should. It gives you more damage based off of, uh, you know, increasing attack speed. Uh, rockets is more like you're not sure if you're safe or you want AoE, Runon, splash damage, right? The other one we want to mention is how can we land skill shots? Misdirection. You want to point your character the other way and then fire your ability in the other direction, in a different direction. It doesn't really matter which direction. So let me pause when we're looking at Kaelin, right? So the zap was supposedly <laughs> supposed to be the same idea, but here, when we're trying to, uh, when we're clicking on Pike here, my Jinx, my character Jinx looked at Pike. So what does Kaelin think? Oh, I can hit Jinx now, right? It's free. And then I just turn around ulti her in the face versus if I just run straight at Kaelin. He's gonna dodge who knows where how do i land this ulti right so this is an easy way to land your zaps and your ulti don't shoot it at the guy you're facing if anything you want to shoot it at this guy and this is the only target you just move up and be like haha i'm stupid and then fire it in his face okay or you just like you know you can even do like 360 no scope just spin in a circle and then fire it that's even that's just it's, anything is better than running at straight at them okay <laughs> so uh it's really important because um when we get to how do we use her abilities like ulti you're gonna need to make sure that they literally can't dodge because they're running in a straight line. You're comboing off a teammate, right? Or you use this misdirection idea, okay? One of these three things is probably what you need. So here's an example where they can't dodge, right? And uh, team fighting, I guess, too. Um, well, they can't dodge because they're running in one direction. Fire ulti. You really want to save your ulti until you can get a reset, right? Here's another one. You're running in one direction. All right, check this out. Yada, yada, yada. We're just throwing traps so she can't get away. This is 3v1. You can use it however you want. Zap is for combo, right? And then here we go. Along the edges of walls, like this, they're running in one direction. You want it like, you want to be parallel to them, right? You don't want perpendicular. If we're like, if we're like standing here, it's really hard to fire a rocket like this, right? It's really when you can't miss. And then uh, here's a, here's a WR combo. This is the WR combo. If you can... Hit him with zap at max range, you're very likely to land ulti, okay? So in this example, we're going to be using it on uh, Zaya. It's probably a really good way to guarantee ulti is when they're slow. They can only dodge it by flashing or dashing or whatever, right? If you know zap is going to land, immediately fire ulti. Oh, and you know you can kill them afterwards, right? That was a boosted flash, but don't worry about that. And then last, we'll go over team fights. The thing to mention or note is our default is hit the closest guy in rocket form. Make sure we're super safe. Save traps to trap ourselves, zap on running away targets or targets that are chasing you, or using misdirection or following up on your team, one of those four ideas, and ulti to get uh, resets, okay? So, let's just 
throw you a bunch of team fights here, and we're gonna end on this note. And this is the bulk of the uh, how you play Jinx. From laning phase to team fighting, uh, itemization, just build like Infinity Edge and two two Z items, honestly. You just, you just build whatever you want, whatever is logical, honestly, right? Here we're just uh, cutting max range with rockets, right? Sure, sure, sure. Get our reset. Switch to rocket form. Notice how we are utilizing our click close our champion, right? Attack, uh, move after every attack, right? So make sure I'm staying super safe. And then we run in with minigun when we think we can kill them. Oh, this Janna dodged it, but I thought I thought she was I was gonna hit her, but uh, she ran. But you see how we are shooting in a straight line, right? So you should examine these clips and look at how we're moving between every hit to make sure we're safe. We're moving sideways, we're moving backwards. But we're moving between every auto attack. That's the movement part of the guide we went over in the first part, okay? Here's another, uh, another, uh, oh, another good thing for you guys to look at is auto canceling your zap with rockets, right? Like this, right? And uh, also, don't ulti if you don't need to. After you hit them with a zap, uh, you should either ulti immediately or save it for after they flash. That was actually really poor by me to ulti when I didn't need to, right? Don't use abilities when you don't need to. Here, this is gonna be an example of how we switch to rockets, you know, rockets and minigun. You wanna stay in, you wanna stay in rockets? until you can minigun someone, right? Remember, minigun is more damage, but rockets is safer. So we're gonna be in rockets until we can minigun, right? So here we minigun, she's getting away, rockets, no problem, yeah? So be able to switch forums with your Q like that. And the last one is your playmaking. So the whole time, we're just like, stay safe, get some free resets, go ham. This is like flashing for a reset, okay? This is probably the only other thing you need for this Jinx guy. Oh, uh, I guess good usage of ulti can also be getting mad damage on the backline, right? But I'm sure you guys know that. Here, we're just looking for kills, right? Uh, she's just getting away. We can't flash for that. Maybe we could have, but couldn't, couldn't do it in time. Repositioning here. We kind of missed our flash opportunity, but don't worry. Another one will show up, right? So here, we're like, oh, if you can flash to reset, right? It's going to be really good. Because you're just going to run around and dodge everything afterwards, which is what we're doing here, right? Flash to reset, and you can actually just kill everyone, all right? So think about, uh, but but the, here's the thing is when you flash in, you have to get the reset immediately. Otherwise you're standing still, right? You're doomed, right? So yeah, if you wanna watch this again, let's take a look. But really it's just making sure, uh, you see the other ideas in here as well, um, where uh, we are attacking and moving. Also looking to zap someone in the back line, right? Where she has no idea it's coming. Really you need to trick someone in order to hit them with zap. Or they have no choice, like they're running in a straight line or chasing you, okay? Trick them, combo, running in a straight line, okay? But yeah, uh, I can't believe that Janna dodged that. But yeah, we are uh, attack and moving. Move after every hit is super important on Jinx. Like, being able to manage your attack speed is really important. Especially since it goes crazy. Like, there, are f <laughs> there's like three ways your attack speed changes. Your minigun gives you attack speed, rockets lowers your attack speed, and uh, your passive increases your attack speed, right? There's so many different ways uh, to manage your attack speed. So... Make sure you can do all that. But yeah, that's basically it for this guide. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely try these ideas out in your games. Let me know how it goes. And if you Jinx mains have any other tips slash things I should have mentioned, definitely let me know in the comments, right? I would like to thank Game Leap for providing all the editing again. They have a ton of videos and educational material on their website and the YouTube channel. So if you want to go learn more about the game, maybe not just the ADC role, definitely check them out, right? That's Game Leap. That's it for me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.